Pop punk couple Avril Lavigne and Maude's son may have just gotten engaged in the romantic setting of Paris, France, but when it comes to their everyday lives, the two live in Los Angeles. Avril lives in a stunning $7.8 million beachfront home in Malibu, which she bought at the end of 2020 and boasts a contemporary aesthetic, while Maude's son has a unique and artsy dwelling in the Woodland Hills neighborhood of LA. I'm sure the lovebirds spent plenty of time at both properties, and in this video, we're gonna take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Avril Lavigne is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and more who hails from a small town in Ontario, Canada called Napanee. She got her start at the young age of 15 when she performed on stage with Shania Twain and scored a two album recording contract only a year later. Her debut album along with the ones that followed were all chart topping hits and these days Avril has an astounding net worth of about $60 million. The pop punk Princess has also found her prince, musician Maude's son, whose real name is Derek Smith. The pair recently got engaged in the romantic city of Paris, France, with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Maude's son is a singer, songwriter, rapper, and more who started his career in pop punk bands before breaking out on his own back in 2009. He and Avril met at a songwriting session, and the two creatives had an instant connection, beginning to date immediately after they met. When they aren't jet setting across the globe, the couple has some stunning California pads to kick back at. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out the homes of Avril Lavigne and Maude Sun. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. At the end of 2020, Avril found herself a slice of paradise when she purchased her current home, a $7.8 million estate in Malibu, perched up on a bluff overlooking the ocean. Her contemporary estate sits on a 0.63 acre lot and while it's not totally mansion sized, it still spans a generous 3,455 square feet and makes up for any square footage with its attention grabbing views and aesthetics. Avril's home is located in a celeb loved area of Malibu, just down the street from Lady Gaga's sprawling compound and while it was built in 1968, it was completely redone recently for a modern feel. The single story home boasts an open floor plan, clean lines, and an impressive exposed wood beam ceiling over the main living areas. There are four beds and 3.5 bathrooms throughout, while the home is hidden from the street and secured behind a long, gated driveway for privacy. Avril's uncomplicated estate has a great room with custom woodwork, including an entire wall of built-in shelves and a fireplace on one end, as well as honey-colored hardwood floors and glass doors opening out to the amazing views. In a far corner of the living space, there's a cozy office with bookshelves and a desk. Over in Avril's chic kitchen, there are top of the line stainless steel appliances, a temperature controlled wine closet, and a long breakfast bar which separates it from the living room. All of the common area is flooded with light thanks to the glass doors opening out to water views and a garden. Elsewhere, there's a guest bedroom which has been transformed into a private home gym. The singer's master suite is secluded in its own wing of the home, accessed through a giant barn style door, and her bedroom has more views of the ocean, a vaulted ceiling, a spa style bath, and custom walk-in closet with space for a giant celeb style wardrobe. Other features of Avril's Malibu retreat include an outdoor dry sauna and detached two-car garage with additional guest suite which could be used for visitors or staff. Outside, the entire property is surrounded by tall hedges and the front of the home has a ton of trees and shade. The backyard boasts a spacious patio with fire pits and barbecue, while there's a lower wooden deck and a simple pool below. The pool comes complete with a spa and Baja shelf for sun tanning, while the grassy lawn leads you down to the beach, which is by far one of the best features of the property. Not to mention, since moving in, Avril even added a mini skate park complete with different ramps to the yard back in June so she can brush up on her boarding skills. When the couple isn't kicking back at Avril's Malibu beach house, they can spend time at Maude's son's quite modest home located in the Woodland Hills area of Los Angeles. His home might not be big, but it's very much alive with art, music, and the things that inspire him. 
His creative and artistic home opens through double front doors and leads you down a few stairs to some of the living spaces. His sister also has a room at his crib because he says he loves having his family close to him. Over in Maud's kitchen, there's a large center island, a marble countertops, and stainless steel appliances. Not to mention, he has his first dollar he's ever made as Maud's son located here. His living area is a large combined space boasting a dining room on one side, sitting room with couches and TV, as well as a cozy fire place in the middle and a bar to one corner. Moving down to the lower level, Maud keeps his fashion collection and some more art pieces, including fan art down here. In his lower level sleeping quarters or master suite, not only does he have a fully stocked walk-in closet, he keeps all of his personal art here in his bedroom too, as well as his typewriter collection. Elsewhere, the musician has a fully equipped recording studio as you might expect, and he also has a bunk bed style situation on top of an entertainment unit where the songwriter claims that he likes to write some of his best work, and he calls this space his treehouse. Before we wrap up this house tour, let's take a quick look at one of Avril's former mansions she lived in from 2015 onwards. That year when she was still with her ex-husband, Nickelback frontman Chad Kroger, the two bought a traditional French chateau-inspired mansion in Sherman Oaks for $5.9 million. When the couple decided to call it quits, they eventually hoisted this home back on the market, this time for $7.9 million in 2019. The gorgeous mansion was located in an upscale neighborhood of Sherman Oaks, surrounded by trees and greenery and secured behind high walls covered in vines and iron gates. The estate spans 10,200 square feet of space and boasted six beds and 7.5 baths throughout. Double doors open to a grand entryway, leading to the extravagant double height living room with twin curved staircases. This space also had a wall of floor to ceiling windows, a stone fireplace, and a bar, which linked this room to the dining room, complete with its very own fireplace. Elsewhere, there was a chef's kitchen with more than one fridge, high end appliances, three dishwashers, and two island as well as an attached casual eating area and family room. This massive space was over 20 feet wide and 36 feet long with a coppered ceiling. Other features on this level of the home included a bonus TV lounge, a breezeway that connected the house to the three car garage and a paneled office. Not to mention, the mansion boasted a mirror wall gym or yoga studio that had a secret staircase to the second floor master retreat. Avril's former master suite had its own wing on the upper level of the mansion, offering an elegant fireplace, French doors out to the balconies, and a 20-foot long walk-in closet. The ensuite bath even had its own morning bar. Above the garage, you would find a top-of-the-line home theater with separate lounge, boasting snack bar with ice maker and drink cooler. While not too many renovations were made while Avril and Chad lived here, they did spend a bit of money to convert a third-floor attic space into a large entertainment complex. Here, there were vaulted ceilings, skylights, stone fireplace, a large wet bar, and a 400-square-foot bonus room. Rounding out this amazing property was the landscaped backyard, which was fully private and peaceful. The grounds offered amenities like a fire pit, outdoor kitchen and bar area, salt water swimming pool and spa, sports court and more. All right, now we've looked at the homes of Avril Lavigne and Maud's son and we couldn't be happier for the newly engaged couple. Whether they kick back at Avril's modern Malibu home on the water or Maud's son's humble and artsy woodland hills abode, they always have a nice place to stay. We also got a glimpse of Avril's former mansion in Sherman Oaks, but personally, I think her current home suits her far better. We'll just have to see where the couple chooses to shack up permanently once they tie the knot. Out of the properties we looked at, did you have a favorite? What were your favorite rooms or features in the homes? Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Avril and Maud's homes down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Follow me over on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.